Hello, hello students. Welcome to the class. In the last class, I taught you the sim uh, how to make sentences in simple past tense, right? And in this class, I'm going to teach you all about past perfect tense. I mean, the form of past perfect tense and the uh, and how do we, how do we use the past perfect tense and where do we use it and the time indicators that we use in past perfect tense we are going to learn all these points right so here what is first what is the form of past perfect tense subject had plus third form of a plus third form of a plus object third form of verb means here past participle what is that past participle past participle now let us see here right the past perfect tense is formed by using had followed by a verb followed by a verb in its past participle past participle means what for example if i write do what is the third form of do done speak what is the third form of speak spoken right eat what is the third form of eat eaten right spoken done that means what here had done had spoken had eaten had eaten had eaten had done had spoken had eaten that means for the past perfect tense is formed by using had followed by a verb in its past participle like had done had spoken had eaten so these for these formings right these uh, past part, part participle form formation they are irregular endings what are this irregular irregular endings for example if i say that work what is the third form of work work if i say help what is the third form help right if i say that reach so what is the third form of reach reach these are not regular regular endings because ed formation in the second form and in the third form like in the past form and in the past past participle there are ed endings these ed endings for regular verbs irregular regular and irregular in the same way we can say that i had done i had spoken i had eaten i had work i had help i had reached understood so this way we can write that means for here the third form did you understand the form the form the past perfect tense is formed by using had followed by a verb in its past participle form like had done had spoken had eaten had worked had helped had reached this is the form right so now here i have written seven examples right one two three four five six seven examples so let us see these let us observe these examples the train had uh, arrived the train had arrived before i reached the station the patient had died had died i reached uh, the doctor reached it the bell had had rung the teacher teacher entered the class had finished she had finished her work when when the guest came right i had met her had met her several times before she left for london right had been here for 10 years right when i met her met her so here ram had gone before sita came so now you see in each here in these seven sentences there are two there are two tenses this one had the end as we know that past perfect tense is formed by had plus past participle right so this is absolutely past perfect the first tense up to here so when it come here he reached the station reached this is the second form so where do we use second form of a verb while in past form we use it in simple past where do we use it simple past simple past tense what is the form of simple past the form of simple past is right subject plus second form of a verb plus object is it right that's all right. that means here in these sentences in the in these seven sentences we have sequencing device what is the sequencing device here the first one is past perfect tense the second one is simple past tense understood right clear 
so here so here in each every sentence there is a combination of two tenses the first one is what past perfect the second one is simple past tense the first one is past perfect the second one is simple past that means here the past perfect tense is used as a sequencing device as a sequencing device that means a combination of two tenses when there are two actions here two actions the train had arrived he reached the station before he reached the station that means that there are two actions that occurred in the past in the past there are two actions which were occurred which were occurred so the first one is past perfect the second one is simple past the past perfect tense indicates here the past perfect tense indicates as to which action happened first here actually now you see the train had arrived before i reached the station what is the action one here this is action one action one. he reached the station action action two this is action one action two the patient had died had died what is this action one here doctor reached action two understand had run this is action one and entered action two here has finished action one here guest came action two now here i have met had met action one here before she left action action two understand here had lived action one met action two here had gone action one here came action two. see in each and every one there are two actions so one action happened earlier if the other one happened later that means for example here you see the train had arrived before he reached the station for example instead of arrived okay i was left here the train had left the station right the train had left the station before i reached there understand so now you see now let us see the example here the train had left the station to delhi before i reached the station okay the train had left the train had already left the station to delhi before i reached the station now here let us see this in a time let us see for example here what is the first action had left the train had left the station is the action one that means first happened action right before i reach the station before i reach the station this is action two which was happened later the train had left already delivered right for example here you see in a time right so here it's 8 am think of it 8 am here the train the train to delhi delhi the train to delhi left the train to delhi the train to delhi left here think of this 9 am 9 am think of this 9 am so i reach the station or i arrive the i arrive the i arrive at the station i arrive arrive or reach at the station now it's time is 11 so now here when did the train left when did the train leave the train leave at 8 am when had the train left here the train had left at 8 am when did when did you reach the station you reached the station you arrived at the station at 9 am so now what is the time 10 am that means for here so here the train had left the station already the train had left this action which was happened happened first first earlier first happened action 
The second action is what? I arrived uh, at the station. Did you catch the train? No, you missed it. Because you are late to station. Understand? So in this sequence, we use past perfect tense. Now you see here, the patient had died before the doctor reached there. That means actually, the patient had died at 8 a.m. The doctor reached there at 9 a.m. Which was happened first? The patient had died already. This is action 1, earlier action. Before the doctor reached there. Before the doctor reached. So after he reached, he reached home at 9 a.m. Before he died. The bell had rung before the teacher entered the class. So the first action is what? The bell had already rung. Later the teacher entered the class. This is the first action. This is action 2. Understand? Action 2. That means actually what? Here, the past perfect is used as a sequencing device when there are two actions that occurred in the past. The past perfect indicates as to which action happened first. The past perfect which is used to indicate first happened action. Understood? So this is what? The train had left the station to Delhi before I reached the station. Right. Now you see here, she had finished her work when the guest came. So she had finished her work. Already she had finished her work when the guest came. Now she was free. The guest came. So already she finished her work at 8 a.m. Later guest came at 9 a.m. Think of it. I had met her several times before she left for London. So here, before what, what, did, what did he do? So he had met her many times before she left for uh, London. I had lived here for 10 years when I met her. Rama had gone before Sita came. Rama had gone at 8 a.m. Sita came here at 9 a.m. This is action 1 and this is action 2. That means what is the use of a past perfect tense? We use past perfect tense to indicate the combination of two tenses like past perfect and simple past. Sequencing device, we can call it sequencing device. When there are two actions that occur in the past. Right. Here actually action one is the train had arrived before he reached the station. Right. So the patient had died. And he had lived, she had lived here for 10 years and I met her. Ram had gone before Sita came. Right. Oh, these are these are the examples of past perfect tense. And you can write some examples also. Right. Now here, what are the time indicators in each before, before? So here when we use before. There are some time indicators we use them in uh, past perfect tense before. The train had left before I reached the station. The train had already left 8 a.m. He reached the station at 9 a.m. Now it's 10 a.m. This is first action, second action. This is the first action, this is the second action. Right? So this is what we call all about past perfect tense. What is the form? Subject had the third form of work plus object. So here, so we use two tenses. What are the two tenses in past perfect Along with the past perfect tense, what is the other tense that we use? We use simple past. Simple past is second form of subject plus second form of verb plus object. Object plus second form of verb plus object. We use it. Okay? Please in first person and second person. I, we, you, they, he, he. So all these things have the third form of words. For example, done. I had done. We had done. You had done. They had done. He had done. She had done. It had done. Right? <coughs> Ten words. <coughs> I had worked. We had worked. You had worked. They had worked. He had worked. She had worked. It had worked. So here we can understand third one. What are we doing? Third form is third form is what? Past participle. What is it? Past participle. Past participle. So this is
Now let us see here how to make questions in past perfect tense. Right? So positive, negative, interrogative, negative, interrogative sentences. See, I, he, you, they, he, she, it. So for example, here whatever the format is, it takes had in the right in the in the past perfect. So for example, here I had worked, we had worked, you had worked, they had worked, he had worked, she had worked, it had worked. So when it comes to negative, for example, done, we can write done also. I have done my homework, we have done my homework, you have done your homework, they have done their homework, right? She had done her homework, he had done his homework, it has it had done. So we can use it. When it comes to negative, have not or haven't. Haven't is the short form of had not. As I already told you, this is called contraction. What is what do we call contraction? Contraction form. Contraction. So have not. Have not have. It. So here I have not I have not done my homework. Can we say done? So after this we can use done or worked. Work. I have not done my homework. We have not done our homework. They had not done their homework. You had not done your homework. She had not done her homework. He had he had not done his homework. It had not done. So have not. So have worked. Have I had not worked my project. Right? I had not worked on my project. We had not worked on our project. So here we can say that had it or had not. When it comes to negative, so as here had is there, this is had, had is helping verb, we can say augmented verb, right? So with the what is the basic function of augmented verb, um, helping verb? So we use it to frame questions, to make questions. So with the help of uh, auxiliary verb, we make questions, right? So here we can say that with the help of had, we can make questions. Had I done my homework? Had I done my homework? Had we done our homework? Had you done your homework? Had they done his uh, their homework? Had he done his homework? Had he had she done her homework? So we can use that and work does work. So here question marks. Understand question marks. So here had we use it. When it comes to negative had it. Had it I done. We can say that had it I done my homework. Had it we done our homework. Had it had it had it you done your homework. Had it he done his homework. Had it she done her homework. Had it it done. Had it they done their homework. Had it we can use it. If, instead of had it had not also can be used. Here not can be used. Had I not done. Had we not done. Had you not done. Had he not done. Had she not done. Had it not done. Had it had they not done. So here in this way we can use right word. So this is the way of making questions in, uh, in the past perfect. So here when it comes main question as you all know so done <coughs> so here have you done your homework so for example at 6 o'clock you done your homework for example how can I use when the question we can take when have I done my homework when have we done our homework when have you done your homework when have you when have they done their homework. When had he done his homework? When had she done her homework? Right? So when? So here, where we can also where with the help of where. Where I had worked. Where had where had we worked? Where had you worked? Where had they worked? Where had he worked? Where had she worked? This way we can frame the questions, main questions, as no questions. Did you understand? I hope you understand. Today in this class we discuss uh, the form of past perfect tense and the use of past perfect tense and the time indicator that we use in past perfect tense. 
and finally we learnt how to make sentences in past perfect tense thank you have a nice day and also do one thing take take some some words and frame some questions and positive and negative interrogative negative interrogative questions thank you have a nice day bye